In this video, we're going to go through the basics of how you can use the mobile layout in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through its basic components and how you can use it to enhance your user experience on mobile devices. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the mobile layout view essentially lets you create a view of your reports that is optimized for mobile devices. Now, when we create dashboards, we typically design them to be viewed on a screen, so like a laptop screen or a monitor monitor screen on a specific 16 by 9 format. So this means that we can leverage a lot of techniques in how we design our reports. So maybe using smaller fonts or maybe adding some, you know, unique interactions in that, or maybe adding some kind of unique elements to your reports, overlapping reports, things like this. If the same report is viewed on a small screen, however, it can be a little bit difficult to read or to even look at because some of the fonts may be too small to be legible or a lot of your interactive elements will be too difficult to interact with. And the mobile layout view essentially lets you create a different view on that same report for mobile devices. So creating a kind of mobile friendly experience without having to create a completely new report for this. And in fact, this mobile view has been around for a pretty long time now, but it has gone through several iterations for a few years now. And I thought it's a sort of good time to cover it because it's it has a lot more features than I remember when I first used it. So let's go through it. So here I have a sample report that I wanted to show you. It's a very, very basic report. Um, and I've just added a few charts here and visuals that we can use as part of this mobile view experience. So at the moment, this is the typical view that you get the desktop view experience. So as I mentioned, these reports are typically designed for, you know, for a monitor screen or a laptop screen. So the aspect ratio is even, you know, optimized for that kind of viewing experience. Now, if you want to create a mobile view version of this report, you can do it either from the Power BI desktop or from the service. From desktop, you will have this button on the bottom right which is the mobile layout view. But I believe there's also a view here. So under view, let's see here is the mobile layout button here. So both of them will bring you to this uh, to this part of Power BI desktop, which lets you basically design your mobile view. So as you noticed, uh, we have a canvas, an empty canvas here to work with and how the report will look like on a mobile device. And all of our visuals that we have in that page is now listed in this page visuals tab. And from here, you can basically just start working with it. So you can drag your page visuals into this canvas here. You can move them around, adjust them, make them bigger or smaller. You can grid, snap it into grid lines, or you can have it so that it's not, so it's kind of free form. You can drag it for as little or as big as you want uh, without it snapping. But I actually quite like the snapping to grid feature just so that it's all aligned and the same. So you can add multiple charts here, like the same way that you would in a kind of normal Power BI report. So what you'll notice in this preview or uh, in this view is that the interactivity of Power BI remains the same, but the difference is that obviously it's the format of it is a lot more easier to work with on a smaller screen in this type of aspect ratio. So if I click, for example, different category name here, you'll see that, you know, the cards and all of the other visuals that are basically related to this gets affected when you make those type of interactions. So on the page visuals itself, there are a few buttons here that you can work with. So you have things like uh, remove all visualizations on the canvas. So it just returns it back. And you also have a filter here. So if you have visuals that are hidden in the same page um, and you want to show them in the mobile view, you can either you, you will see that if they are at the moment is showing us everything, but uh, the hidden charts will be with this hidden visual icon. So let's bring back a few of these visuals actually and let's have a look at the whole kind of Power BI desktop experience from this layout view and 
as you can see, a lot of the things that would be typically available to you is grayed out. So a lot of these things like data and formats, because a lot of these options is something that you would manage directly from the desktop view here. So if you switch back to this, you will see that a lot of them will be available. So a lot of these in context of the mobile view is not really useful. However, there are a few elements here that you can use. So for example, we have the selection pane here, which works works the same as it does on the desktop view. It just lets you adjust the ordering or the layer orders of your different visuals. And this is useful if you have or if you're utilizing techniques where you have visuals on top of each other. So for example, having a donuts chart and then having a visual KPI in the middle of it, you would typically need two charts on top of each other. You can use the selection pane to control that. Another use case that I found, which actually is uh, really interesting, is to add a background on your mobile layout view. So as you noticed already, there is no page information or page background setting that you can adjust here. But if you add an image at the back of all of your layers of all of your charts in the mobile view, you can kind of create something that looks fairly professional. So here in the documentation, which I will send, I will add in the description box below, as you can see from this sample, it's basically just lets you drag that background to use in that mobile view and then you can put your charts and tables on top of it to make it seem and look more like an actual application. So another one that you can use here that is available is bookmarks. So bookmarks works exactly the same way as before. It lets you save the states of your charts and uh, so these are typically linked to actions that you can put on sort of buttons that your users can interact with. If you're not familiar with bookmarks and how to use them. I cover them in a separate video and they're very useful if you want to do things like toggling between tables or toggling other visual elements in your reports. So go check that video out if you haven't yet. So by default, the properties of your visuals are inherited from the desktop view into the mobile view. So for example, the color of our charts here are inherited from this view. So what I mean is that if I change the color of the bars here to something like black, you will notice that change will also be applied to the mobile view. Now, when you're arranging your visuals into a mobile view, you might find some instances where you want to adjust the property of the mobile view, but not really affect the properties on the desktop view. And Power BI, or at least this mobile view layout, allows you to do that. So um, if we click on this same visual, for example, let's go to the bars. And uh, what we'll do is we'll change the color. And let's say that we want the color for this to be purple in the mobile view, but black on the desktop view. So if you click that, what you'll notice is that it changed the color on the bar here on the mobile view. But if you go to the desktop view, it still stays as black. So the link or the inherited property across these two views are now sort of broken. So to make it less confusing, if you click on that that property that you've just changed, you'll notice this new icon that pops up, which basically explains that the properties for this has been changed for the mobile layout, but won't be in the desktop. So this is actually very useful if you want to have a completely different experience on the mobile view, or you have a different theme that you want to use, but you don't want these changes to affect the desktop view. So if you decide that you actually want to keep the link back between the desktop view and the mobile view, you can simply just go go here at the very bottom of that property and clear mobile changes. So that will just revert that link back and you will see that the icon disappears. And that's really it for this video. So as I mentioned before, there is a section of the documentation that covers sort of mobile friendly formats that you can use and covering the mobile view in general. So if you want to learn more about uh, the mobile view and how it works and its other quirks, leave a link to those documentations in the description box below. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so that to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.